What up, YouTube? So, I am gonna compare these two little guys today. Um, a lot of things are pretty similar, a lot of things are not, as we all know. Leica versus a Fujifilm. This is an X100V, and here I have a Leica M240 with a Sumalux Prius Vericle on it, uh, 35. And, well, you know, so, the truth is I'm not uh, gonna be getting rid of this M240. This is my camera, it's been with me for years, I have tons of M glass, I love it, I love the rangefinder, I love the image quality, I love the dynamic range, I love the color that comes out of this camera. But then along comes this. It has autofocus, it shoots video, it, uh, it's essentially a little point and shoot, but at the same time I can compose and like really take my time with things if I really, really want to. Um, I love like the same with the Leica, like everything sits on the outside, you know, I've got the aperture on here, I've got my shutter up here, I've got my ISO in there, compensation dial, everything like that. If I look down at this camera, I can just see it. It can even just be a light meter if I'm like using a medium format camera or something like that. It's small enough. But at the end of the day, it is kind of a very similar size to my Leica. And so the question that I have for myself is really, is there a place for both of them in my kit? And so what I did was I went on a photo walk um, with my father-in-law, Kevin, and my son, Olin. Um, we went out to Salvi Island and we were looking for the lighthouse, but took some wrong turns, ended up on some private land, <laughs> which we, when we realized we turned around and we walked right the hell out. It was muddy, it was foggy, it was kind of ucky, but I mean, there was still a couple of nice pictures going on there. And as much as both of these cameras, I would use them for street photography. And that is a main purpose, obviously, for having these two cameras as well. I use them also just to record my life, to record hikes and walks and things like that. Um, on a more kind of dedicated photo mission, I might take a film camera like my Hasselblad or even my 4x5 or something like that. And, you know, one of these might come in addition to that. They might be the extra camera. For many, many years, I used a Ricoh GR as that camera, and that would often come in conjunction with the M240 as well. Um, but recently, I sold the GR, I kind of was tra I traded it, and partial trade towards, I got a Fuji uh, GFX 50S, which I love, and I am contemplating upgrading that to the 100S, uh, but that's for another video and another time. And so, but it did give me some confidence getting that camera in understanding that, damn, Fuji has come a long way. Like this thing is a wonderful iteration of the X100 series, you know? Like it has little additions, whether you like them or not, that really make this usable. Like that's great for video, you know? Um, the EVF on this thing is now finally actually really, really nice and the camera's pretty responsive. Um, you could use it as like as a click, click, point and shoot. You can use it as, you know, eye focus, like, you know, eye focus. I mean, you know, through, through the OVF so that you can like get a more natural feeling when you're working with the camera. And so I think, I think it's kind of a thing of me going like, are they different enough? Do they differentiate themselves enough that I need both? Or um, is it more that like, actually, hey, you don't need this camera and maybe you get another lens for something else or maybe you just don't have anything or maybe you get a Ricoh GR again, which to be honest, I kind of miss having that camera, um, but I am loving the output from this camera. I mean, those Fuji colors, everybody, there's they're something, it's not a joke, like, um, they're beautiful and not just the the jpegs which i actually as a family camera i love the idea of just shooting jpeg and my life i don't want to sit there in lightroom and futz with things um i just want to like mess around with it use some of fuji x weekly's amazing um you know film kind of look presets lots whatever you want to call them uh, recipes um, something I cannot do with the M240, but that said, like the color that comes straight out of the M240, I really like. But I also like the base or uh, raw file that comes out of this if I did want to use it the way. It can be used as a tiny B cam. I could shoot these YouTube videos on this X100V. Um, so yeah, it's it's a question for myself of like, do I keep this camera or not? And it's a hard kind of uh, decision because. I do like it. I mean, I like cameras, you know, and this is a nice camera. It's a beautifully designed thing and just like a pleasure to hold and to use. And 
finally, the image quality with this new lens, the sensor, the way it's put together is beautiful. Um, yeah, it's something quite special. And I've owned the X100T and the F. Um, the T I owned and sold because I didn't want to mix it with my film work for my Leica M6 years ago. The F I bought it, took it on a trip, didn't use it, returned it because I was like, why? I don't need this camera. And um, an S, I borrowed a friend's S years ago. So I have experience with these cameras. I know them. I know them well. And I know their shortcomings as well as their bonuses. And so this one came to me in a kind of a trade. And I was like, oh, cool. You know, let's, let's try this out. And so here I am with this camera. And I shot a bunch of pictures. And I'm going to show them to me. And show them to you. And you be the judge. Like, image-wise, you know, they both make beautiful pictures. There's nothing wrong with either camera. Uh, but... But do I need them both? You you help me out with this one, YouTube. All right, here's the pictures. <laughs>